So, nice to meet you, man. So, uh, yesterday, I mean, I told you about it. I figured she was going to do this. I didn't expect it to be the very next day. And now there are two more additional people with them. So, um, if they are trespassing, uh, I, I don't know. Because they were, she told me yesterday that she was not, she was there to conduct the business and then she left. Um, but... Everybody inside told me yesterday that they were not there to conduct business, so I'm hoping that they're not in the lobby. I'm hoping they've gone because I did see a car parked on the south side of the or the north side of the building in a no parking zone. So I'm thinking that maybe that car was associated with them, um, and it drove away when I drove by. So um, just I just want to give you a heads up because I kind of figured she was going to be an issue, but oh yeah, here she is. Do what now? She needs service. She's waiting for Van Bills. Um, somebody will be out in a couple minutes for you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, honestly, she's back. She brought her Right. Um, they were, um, <laughs> essentially, they were coming up for people. I was out on patrol. Um, so I only caught, like, the back end of it. I had to tell my guy to actually go into the back offices. Mm -hmm. um, but they were right up against the window um, videoing, and uh, he stated that he didn't feel comfortable. He felt threatened by the way that they were kind of behaving and acting. Um, all of my people back there <laughs> don't feel safe. They feel threatened, um, and they want these people <laughs> off our property. Okay. Um, they don't want them to come back. They cannot do their jobs um, when these people are here. Okay. Um, they, yeah, again, they don't feel safe. I mean, my goal is to keep my people feeling safe um, and comfortable. Um, Brendan Armstrong, mm -hmm. uh, the security head, is okay. coming here now. Okay. I called him first. Okay. Um, the people inside are the ones who called you, uh -huh. so you're going to have to get their statements and everything, okay. uh, probably. Um, but, again, you were here yesterday. Right, right. You, you know, heard some what happened, and then, obviously, she came back with two of her friends, um, males, bigger than her. Um, which makes my people feel even more uncomfortable yesterday. Mm -hmm. They were kind of confused, didn't really know what was going on, felt uncomfortable today, mm -hmm. even more so. Right. Um, and so, yeah, we just, we need to get this right. yeah. dealt with um, um, in hopefully the calmest way possible. Right. Um, you know. You want me to get a supervisor out here yeah. just in case? Absolutely. Just, I know this is kind of, you're being recorded. Yeah. And I'm assuming you already know. Two nor three. Is there a supervisor available to come out to the scene here?
She doesn't want to talk. She doesn't? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, you're here. So you're not going to talk to us? They're not going to. I know I read the problem for you. Okay. Um, if you want to wait and sit down, you can do that. Or you can come back later. Yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to go back to You okay? I think it's people. Yes, I understand. Um, you don't want to talk about what you're here. You know, I gave the, I gave the guys some of my some paperwork, and I just want a receipt for the papers that I gave, like a you know, like a stamp date receipt. Oh, so you're not with Well, we're all individuals. So you're not here together. Uh, I need a receipt. Okay. The guy took my property and he went back in there. I just need a receipt for it or my property right. That's all. Okay. Uh, just letting you guys know you're being recorded. Okay, uh, is there, are you here for a reason, sir? Yes. What are you here for? I'd rather not answer questions, thanks. Okay, well, if you're not here for business, you're trespassing. I didn't say that, sir. Well, I'm, I'm telling you that if you're not here for business, you're trespassing. Just wanted you to know that. In order to be trespassing on this property, that would be a crime committed. Can you articulate a crime that you suspect you're committing? Well, right now, you're not here to conduct business. You're not here to conduct business. So and just because I didn't answer your question doesn't mean I'm not here to conduct business. I don't wish to discuss it with you. Okay, well, the staff members don't want you here, okay? And then Again, once you cannot be trespassed with public property unless a crime has been committed. No, so that is wrong. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So. It's fine. Not taking you want to get into a lawsuit? Yeah, let's, let's, let, let's get a supervisor. This guy's making it. Oh, we've already got one. Okay, good. Yeah. So. Um, is you want to come back with me really quickly to talk to my employees? Yeah, let's let's go. Hey, ma'am, if you could just ask him for a receipt, that's all we need to get out of here. Um, my property. That we'll is receive. not my job, sir. Right, let me just pull it close so that it. Yeah, 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 I do. So, uh, just to be clear, the manager here, everybody, all the employees want them to leave. Okay. So this is um, the one that took the papers. Those are the papers right there. Okay. And then I have two more over here. I googled this, and it says missing. Okay. So I don't see this. Right, let me see this real quick. I'll try to help you guys out because I was I was here yesterday. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, public records. Entitled public records at model rules of Washington. Yeah, we're uh, we're working on. Oh, I'm trying to yeah, Google we're, it. Uh, we're working on trying, trying to find it. Too. Yeah. I'm, to find out if it's even legit. And then the thing is, they highlighted this, okay. yeah. and then when I Google it, so, there's only um, three results for that exact wording, uh -huh. and all three of them say missing, missing, missing. Okay. So, what kind of records did they... They didn't want to even precise the public records. Okay. Okay. I'm back here uh, speaking with staff. Just give me one moment, and I'll meet you outside and kind of brief you on what's going on. Um, so, they handed you this. What else did they say? They said... Can you give this to the public records coordinator? Because I didn't know yeah. who they, they wanted to give it to. I asked, do you know who the public coordinator's name is? Okay. And then I said, no, but do you know so I can send it to them? Because I want to do my job of sending it to the correct people. Uh -huh. And they said, um, well, if you're going to take this, can you at least stamp that you have taken it? But before that, they accused me of not taking it. Okay. So they came with you with a public records request, or with this, saying they want public records requests? And they said they want our public records. They want your public and records. And I don't even know what public records they want, okay. but they kind of repeat the same thing. Right. So, like so that's all they said, and then okay, so, yeah. what? Um, and then it sounds like this is might be what they're looking for, but funding breakdown of tolls, I don't think we're supposed to even give that. Okay. Um, and what, what did you... Um, what did they say after they gave you this? That's, they wouldn't say anything else if they want your public records? You know, I was saying uh, this is kind of con con confrontational. Right. And then I didn't feel comfortable. Right. And then he started feeling me even more. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After that. Yeah. And then I was like, well, if you want me to help you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you here on Google. And I showed so my screen and go on, went on Google to look this up. Yeah. And how to send it to these people. Uh-huh. And he said, and he and then I was asking more questions as to, do you know who this coordinator is? Mm -hmm. Do you know that city, the city light is um, part of the Seattle government? So there's like 26 different departments. Right. Have you gone to the customer service bureau in city hall? Right. Or SMT? Right. Where city light is actually located? And he was like, yes, but then you, we're also supposed to be able to come here and get your public records too. I'll just be honest. Most likely they're just trying to be confrontational. Just like yesterday, yeah. she had no business being here. Yeah. Um, and then she just, she was confrontational. 
and it just yeah. seems like they just they finally found something that they think that they would carry some water for them to be even more confrontational. Let me go speak to my supervisor. Um, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this too, okay? Is there any way other than going through the lobby so we don't have to? Because I feel like if I'm gonna show this to my supervisor, and I feel like if they um, see me with this, it'll become more of an issue. So just to. Like I said, you know, my goal is just to keep my people feeling comfortable. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's for the understandable. Yeah. Hey, Dad, so yesterday I dealt with the female. She was here by herself. Um, she basically said yesterday, I'm trying to recall what happened yesterday. Yes, yeah, this is the paperwork they brought in today okay. asking for public records. Um, and then they weren't really saying anything else. They just kept saying we want public records. And then when the guy when the guy Googled this, then they said that. Um, Please tell me you're not holding my property. I am. Well, Excuse we're trying me. to understand the we're situation, to understand okay? The situation. Step back right now. Step back away from us. Okay. So, yesterday they didn't have, she didn't have guys to speak here. Property. So, um, property. anyway, so trying to figure out what they were doing here yesterday. She doesn't have any business. So, they came in today uh, with three, uh, three of them total with this piece of paper. He couldn't find anything regarding this. And the only thing the gentleman was saying that... Um, he wanted public records. Okay. So when he Googled this, he couldn't find anything. Okay. And so then when he tried to speak with him, he became more confrontational and put the camera up into the uh, closer to the glass. And so now the staff members feel uncomfortable. So they're kind of in the back right now. Any threats? Uh, not that I'm aware. Being a witness to a false so, report? Anyway, no, no, no threats were made. Um, when I asked if they had any business, the gentleman that's currently in there wouldn't answer me. He said that he was here for this, but they're trying to figure out exactly what this is, which is why they gave it to us. All right. I was giving it to you to see if you might know what it's it in is. The first sentence, what so, it is. Now, do they have PDR request program? I don't think policy? so. I, I'm not sure, and the employee that I spoke with is not sure about that as well. So can they check into that? Yeah, yeah, I'll check into that with them. Uh, okay. can you just do we have any other crimes? Just trespassing right now. Okay. Um, right what's, now. The com what's, what's the company want to do? Uh, I'll speak. I'll see what they want to do. Um, I know I the, dealt with her yesterday. The head of security is actually coming here right now. Okay. I think he's like 10, 15 minutes away. Okay. And um, I wrote a report for the incident with her yesterday. Okay. Um, so was she trespassed yesterday? She was not. Because um, okay. at the time I spoke with her, I didn't know if there was a crime. But okay. I came in here, spoke with her, she had already left. Okay. Um, so that's where we're at right now. Okay. So, right. Are you going to keep possession of my property? Uh, yes, sir. know anything about the PDR um, what they need to do if this is what they're really wanting is a public disclosure request um, do you know the process that they need to do I, okay. I explained to them I do not know the process right who's better is to contact City Hall's customer service bureau mm -hmm. which is the customer service okay um, do you guys have a manager here that do you think anybody that's here would know uh, the process Okay, so they need to contact me. public Hi. disclosure request. Hey, I'm just letting you know you're being recorded, okay? I was here yesterday. I dealt oh, okay. with the female. Okay. So really, just from just from what I can gather, it's kind of confront. They just want confrontation because Correct. the female had no purpose being here yesterday. Right. Um, but I guess now they found the reason. So now they wanted to come and present this, whatever this is. Um, according to um, Andy. I'm, Andy, that's right. Um, he couldn't find anything on Google regarding this. Do you know anything about the public records request? That would be downtown. Downtown, and that's the customer service bureau. The customer service bureau is the customer service of all downtown, all the different entities and whatnot. Right. 
but they they are kind of antagonistic. I'm feeling harassed by them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're kind of antagonizing our customers, right? Making them uncomfortable as right. well. Right. Yeah, I know the female was uncomfortable. The other woman that was there in was the lobby, upset. She was pretty upset. Right. Uh, we don't know where their cars is. Maybe they've parked a few blocks away, yeah. but we they would really like to have the Lifton Springs. East side of the property. Okay. They were walking up this way, um, west, and I got a call. I was on patrol on the other side of the property. I got a call from my officer who's down in our booth if you wanted to talk to him or not. They did try to film the lady did try to film him yesterday as well when she was walking away after you had talked to her. Mm -hmm. Um and he was like hiding behind the right. monitor. Okay. Um for the computer we have down there. So because you know, our goal is to hopefully not be recorded. Right. Um, even though it's not obviously working out. Um and he called me and was like, she's back and she brought friends. And I immediately right. called our security manager. Yeah, and that's, that's, you know, that's the best thing to do. Yeah. Uh, because it doesn't seem... Anyway, so um, what do you want us to do? I would like to get their personal information, their phone numbers and addresses, uh, whatever we can get. Uh, I need to make people above me aware of what's going on and write my own report. Mm -hmm. I would like a, a police report from you, a second one for mm -hmm. today's uh, Oh, yeah, definitely. And I don't know if I can give you of that, but if I do... I can give you a bit. I'll explain all that to you afterwards. Okay. Um, but it's, you just want them trespassed from the property? Correct. Okay. They're, they're, they're not welcome here. They're videotaping on private property and they're harassing us as well as our customers in the lobby right now. Right. Um, and we don't feel safe. Real quick, the customer that was here, did she leave without being serviced? She sure did. Okay. She's out, I might, she was out by her car. Okay. But I don't know if she left... I'll, I'll speak with, hopefully she's still out there. We'll, we'll address that. Okay. So um, I'll tell, the, I'll try to get their information to some extent as far as, I mean, if they're not going to give me their information, it's kind of dead in the water. I can't mm -hmm. technically pull their information from them. Um, but if they refuse to leave, we'll address that. Um, I mean, that would be trespassing right there, but we'll trespass them from the property saying they can't return. We're a payment center. We right. take payments. We right. don't disclose this type of information. We take uh, SPU bills and city light bills. Um, and construction payments, right. that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, for that type of information, they would need to go downtown, as Andy suggested, okay. when he Googled and tried to assist them. Right. Well, what I'll do, I'll do address them again. Okay. And um, I'll come back and speak with you guys a little bit more about the, the getting the report and just help you out that way uh, the best I can, okay? Wonderful. All right, so just hang tight for me. Y'all don't have to come out here. Yeah. I'll come back in here when we're done, All okay? Right, as, unless you guys want to come out, then that's completely up to you, too. Hey, how are you? Are you the security I'm manager? Brendan. Oh, nice to meet yeah, you. I'm the security manager. So, um, I'm assuming you kind of already... I was here yesterday. Yeah, so I, spoke, I heard. Yeah, yeah right. so I spoke with her. I wrote a report on that. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really know what I had as far as crime-wise until after I spoke with her, but by that time, um, the woman had already left, and I couldn't get her information. So, um, today, they're claiming that they have business to uh, conduct. Okay. Um but they're kind of being confrontational about it, so it just kind of makes me assume that they really just want to be confrontational. Um, but uh, he gave them this form, and they Googled it, and they're like, we don't know what this is, and plus, they, they don't give public disclosure requests here, they have to go downtown. So I'll address that to them. Um, I'll see if they'll give me their information, and then we can trespass them from the property, and if they come back, um, you know, we can arrest them or just address the issue. The, you know, if this... And, most likely. I didn't expect it to be this soon. I didn't expect it to be the next day, but I kind of had an idea that we were going to have issues with her in the future. Um, so, but we'll see what we can do about resolving this today, and hopefully they won't come back and harass you guys. Yeah. Okay. That's so, the biggest thing for us. We were right. Just, yeah. If they, if they have business here, we absolutely right, yeah, let exactly. them be here, let them do their thing. If they want to sit down, film our stuff, and right. not bother us, that's fine. Right. Like, that's totally the right way as soon as they start kind of getting up on our security officers, making our employees uncomfortable, that's where it right. crosses our line. Right, so we'll do it here, talk to them real quick, and um, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Can you please help her? She's been begging for help for the past 15 minutes. She just wants to pay her bill. She, she just came back in and, and she swung her, uh, she swung her, her, her uh, staff train and she did some my home train fly down there. They had it wrong the first few times. And well, like I said, it's confusing. That's why they have a whole unit. But the whole unit, sir, that you're talking about, they didn't know how to do it. Yeah, like I said, they're not perfect. He's still yeah, living on my property? Yes, sir, I'm trying to figure out what the business is that is The thing on. is, sir, I'm, I think you were here already and I already explained this to you. I just want a receipt if they can accept it. 
then I'll be on my way. Or if they can't, I'll take it back and I'll be on my what, way. What kind of receipt are you wanting? Just a receipt that they received it. You just want a receipt that they received it? Yes. That's what I've been saying. A, 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 a dated huh? sign. Or they, they can give it back to me. Okay. And I would just get out here just because I want this lady to have service, you know? Yeah. So they're not going to take it. Is that what you're... Well, I, they don't understand what you are requesting. Even though it says in the first sentence. The public rec uh, disclosure? This, the following request is being made pursuant to the Washington State Public Records Act, RTW 4256, and okay. sequential, Chapter 4414, the Washington Administrative Code, entitled Public okay. Records Act Model Rules of the Washington State Administrative Code. Okay. I am requesting the fullest assistance to inspect and obtain copies and or information about public records, number one through three, enumerated below. This is very easy to understand. All right, well, this is easy to understand. This is a payment center. Okay, right. if you want a public disclosure request, you need to go downtown and address it with them. Okay, this is just a payment center. They don't handle right. public so disclosure. so what is all this about? Uh, you guys being confrontational with the cameras. Oh, going you're the witness there. to the false report. Who reported that to you? Who reported what? You said I was being confrontational, that I was aggressive. That's what you were saying earlier. Oh, I was saying that you were being confrontational. And aggressive. In their words. Yeah. And that's words. how they were right. So in that case... Um, and, then, and then also, you guys have caused customers to become upset and leave. No, we're not. Uh, no, yeah. She was upset because she didn't receive service. Okay, well, I think she was kind of upset towards you guys and asked, even specifically told you, why are you doing this? You're just causing more problems. Is that not correct? And someone should have let her know that it's the employees refusing I, I, to help her, not I'm, talk, I'm talking to her, okay? So you've that, got a that's, lot of bad information, McElroy. No, I don't. How is it that you write police reports and arrest people and you're so ill-informed? How am I ill-informed? Everything you've just said in the past five minutes has been BS. You've threatened to no trust no one's been confrontational. You've threatened to trust You've been yeah, confrontational, sir. No, I have not. Yes, you I have. Think you have. I think I'm being Did reasonable. you know that threatening you're someone to, so to put him in a cage is confrontational? Now that you have your you forms, came up with a gun you have and no threatened other, to put me in a cage no other business for no here, crime committed, um, you're free to go. They want you guys trespassed from the property. Um, unless you guys have business to conduct, which you were this here is yesterday. Our business, sir. I don't think yeah. you have Again, any you're business. Showing your ignorance. Business yesterday. The First you Amendment of the Constitution you. is our business. We don't need any other business. That's where you're so ill informed. You're on private. You need to train this man, you're sir. You're on private. Not ill informed. You look like a jackass. They're He's making you look like a jackass. They, they have no crazy. integrity He's in their the whole force. Uh, uh, so like a jackass. So you guys are on private property. You're on private property right now. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You're on he, private he should property not be right now. Contact yeah. officer. Right. Don't so talk to this guy. You're wasting your time. We can. Uh, he's a moron. I'll let you. I mean, whatever you want to do from here. Um, okay. He's got his form back. They're still we refusing to leave. leave. We're not um, so, I mean, Let's I can get their information if they're willing to give it. And Please retrain him, sir. You're he's being making the entire police department. You're being the trespassed bag. from the property. You're if being if you return, you will be subject if to you arrest. Return, you will be subject to okay. arrest. Okay. I just want you guys to understand that. Anything you say or do will be held against you. You understand as well. Let me see your hands. Take your hands out of your pockets. Okay Take your hands out of your pockets, sir. I need to make sure you have weapons on you. You're still on private property. You have not okay to conspire with other city agents. Sir, are you on probation or parole? You're still on private property, okay? Private property owned by the city? Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. How's that? Well, yeah, it's owned by the Seattle, uh, city of Seattle. Right. But you're not here to conduct business no longer, so you're not allowed to be here. So you are, you have been told to leave. Okay. Um, do you have? May I have your information? I mean, is that a joke? You're formerly being trespassed, so oh, okay. that's not a joke. All right. What's your first name? You want my okay. ID? You're gonna have to take it. Okay. Well, you're still on private property. Okay. You're still on private property. You have no further business being here. They don't want you here on this property, okay? They refuse service here. If you don't leave, we will be yeah. Well, we're going to be relieving because you guys are threatening to arrest us. Yeah, because you're, you're trespassing. Okay. We're not trespassing. Yes, you are. You're trespassing right now. You're asked to leave. You're still here. And you've been given your forms back now that we figured out what all that was? You held on to my property for all this time. You unlawfully detained me by holding my property. And now well, we you're telling to, me that I'm free to go and I'm going to be trusted. We were trying to figure out what the issue is, okay? So that's why we were looking at the forms. Okay, listen, listen, we're, we're done. We're done. If you don't leave, you'll, you're subject to arrest for trespass, okay? You've been told to leave multiple times. You can either leave or you can go to jail for trespass because you have been told to leave. 
right. and your own private property. By the people they told yes. us to leave? They told me to tell you because you're so confrontational with them that they feel harassed. So they wanted me to relay that message to you. So would you be willing to come out to the sidewalk with me so we could file a, a report for the false report? If you want to file anything, then you can stand on the sidewalk and I'll be over there. But as long as you're off the private property, we'll address that then. I have no problem leaving, just like I said before. Okay. If you well, get my property. All right, well, we're asking you to leave. So go ahead and leave. Okay. All right, come on. Let's go. Go ahead and leave. Let's go, Lee. speak to them some more she um she was here yesterday um basically the same thing she came in started filming the meters was filming the surveillance footage all kinds of stuff like that um the security guard confronted her she just continued to film would not leave she even told the security guard if you want me to leave you have to call the police when i got here she was on the sidewalk um, and then basically the same thing. She was saying that, well, this is a public building. I have the right to be here. And I'm, I told her, informed her that as long as you're not, if you're not conducting business, then you can't be on this property. Um, and she said that she was here to conduct business, which I later found out that that was a lie. Uh, she was just here filming the people behind the desk. Um, and she never then once made a request or no, she didn't change her address like she said. No, no. Uh, uh, according to them, they said she changed her according to the people inside. Oh, okay. okay. Well, uh, according to the security guard yesterday, she did, or the guy, Andy, I spoke with behind the desk yesterday, she didn't do any business uh, okay. with him yesterday. So, um, I guess after that, uh, she probably told her friends, and then they came up with that um, that BS uh, PDR request or whatever and came here to be more confrontational and acting like they have business because it appears that they're just trying to be confrontational, and that's what I've told them. And they're feeling harassed and kind of threatened. Sure. There was a customer that was in here, the one that I told you about, where the customer was frustrated because she wasn't getting service because the, their employees are in the back because of them being that confrontational. Okay. So she... So I, business was disrupted by their actions. Right. Okay. So um, I'm doing to type up a report for them as and well. Because business was disrupted by their actions, they were trespassed. Right. Yes, and they had no other, they had no business to conduct. Right, they um, had no business here to conduct. Right. After they determined that this was not a public disclosure request. Right. Um, and then once I gave him the form back, he just continued to talk to me and be more confrontational, so I kind of understand. Okay. I'll be with you in one moment. Um, so uh, I'm going to get a case number for them, write a okay. report, and then I don't know if he's doing the one report or not for whatever he's trying right to say. Write a disturbance report. Mm -hmm. You can indicate in the disturbance report that he made the following allegations. Mm -hmm. Go see if this customer is here. I'm gonna talk to her. She was she was upset. Uh, yeah, okay, you'll get her. She was yeah she was upset with them. So um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming out. I just yeah. Um, I just I, I went ahead and called you out because I, I figured that. No, no. So according to Washington state law, mm -hmm. if they are exercising their First Amendment right, we can limit place and time. Mm -hmm. So the place we can limit their public their their first minute to the sidewalk off, right. off and, the grounds. And I told her that yesterday. But I, then, again, I guess they made the bogus B, uh, PDR request so that they could actually come into yeah, the business. Yeah, we've already determined that this is a pay center and this is not right. a place for it. And we told them where they could go to get the right. disclosure request. Fulfilled. Right. Um, yeah, like I said, the same woman from yesterday, I, I kind of assumed this was going to happen again. I didn't expect it to be the very next day. No. But, um... Anyway, so thank you for coming out and yeah, no handling this with me. Um, yeah. I'll give them a business card and speak with them and go from there. Alright, so they, um, they're they gone. We've told them no, 
do not come back. They would not give me their name. Um, it, I mean, I, the woman I'm familiar with from yesterday, and I kind of assumed that, you know, this was going to happen, like I told you earlier. I didn't expect it to be today. But um, I'm going to write up another report for this, and I'll add the other two gentlemen um, on the uh, report as well. They've been told not to return. Um, so if they do return, feel free to call us, and uh, we'll handle the situation. Um, the, we talked about the PDR request, go downtown to deal with that. Um, after our conversation yesterday, she didn't have any business, so I guess they came up with the bogus reason to come in. So that was their reason. They came in. I informed them it's just a payment center, um, and any PDR should be done downtown. But again, they didn't ask where. They just, you know, they just wanted the confrontation part. But two nor three, can I have my number, please? Does anybody have questions or anything? Nor three received. Uh, it was mostly Andy. Andy. Oh. Yeah. But they were both here. What time happened to yesterday? Um, she walked in at 14.45 and left at like, like right when, right after PD arrived, so like 15.05 or something, somewhere on that, um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, let me try it. Here's your business card, just in case you need that. I'll give you one real quick. Um, they want to file a false reporting report because um, apparently he said that he did not become hostile or confrontational or anything and did not start, you you know, pro he approached the glass and put the camera up and started recording. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Was, um, like right up against the glass. And, right. You know, like um, Mr. Chang stated, uh, he, was, he stated that he was feeling very uncomfortable verbally. Uh, to the guy, um, and that's when I was actually going to have to make a call, and I just turned around and I uh, interrupted him, and I said, let's go back, because, you know, I wanted to get him away from the confrontation situation. And she was demanding that information for downtown, but yet, when Andy asked a specific question about, well, did you talk to the clerk, did you talk to... Who did he talk to? He said a coordinator, and I asked him about the name, and he said, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, they're just trying to be confrontational. Um, like I said, when I gave them the forms, uh, they... You know, they were confrontational with me for having the form. Um, so, you know, we were trying to figure out what it is. So it, wasn't, it had nothing to do with that. They're just, you know. So if you guys have any issues, just call us. We'll deal with it. I mean, we deal with this all the time. There's no need for you guys to have to be harassed. I so have, I should have said, like, the police station is also part of the government. You want to give it to them? Oh, no, don't, don't bring them over to our precinct now. Don't, don't do that. Right. <laughs> All right, well, if y'all have any questions, uh, I'll write a report okay. on, they wouldn't give me their names, um, and I yes, can't what? force, I mean, technically, they were trespassing, but just to de-escalate the situation, um, you know, I just went ahead and just, I'm going to write a report, and we know who they, I mean, we know what they look like, we know who they are, so we're familiar with them, so, uh, worst case scenario, we'll come, if they come back, which, it's Friday, so maybe not this weekend, but maybe Monday or Tuesday. Okay. I'm passing the word along because okay. after yesterday, I kind of figured this was going to happen, so I told people within my unit oh, okay. um, cool. about her, and now I just, I guess I just have two more people mm -hmm. to add to that. So, um, anyway, um, just letting you guys know, don't if, if they become confrontational, just call us. We'll come out and handle it. Okay. All right. All right. That sounds great. Appreciate you coming out. Thank oh, you not so a problem. Y'all have a better day, <laughs> and it's Friday, so. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're still out by my car or not, but I'm going to just put in there that he was saying something about false reporting or what. I, I don't, I don't know. Just hang out until I oh, figure out if they're no, there or not, because I guess they don't like me too much. Um, uh, I was just explaining to you. First of all, you're the primary. Secondly, if it's there, <laughs> so they're looking for Specifically, and I was, I was like fourth party because I was repeating things that I heard you say, mm -hmm. and so I have the ability. What, what, I have more of a, of a uh, 
of a deluded version. So what I kept saying to them was, that's what they're reporting. Right. You're telling me what they said. Right. So, so, and I said, so these are all perceptions. I says, because I, I, I'm not saying that you're intimidated. I'm not intimidated by a camera. Neither are you because you're carrying one. Right. They don't see them every day. Right. Um, so, and I was just trying to explain that these are all perceptions. And yeah. so, so, and that's like, I even told the female here at the end. I said, listen, this wasn't, it's not that big a deal. I says, but the tensions were risen. And I said, and really, this guy, yeah. he started it. Yeah, he, and he had no business here. Like, <laughs> you know, he, he didn't have any business so. to conduct. He was just associated with them. And I think the reason, like I said, I dealt with the female yesterday. And, you know, she was. She was probably brought to entertain. Is that, that's exactly what it was. And that PDR request was just a bogus request for them to have a reason to come in here and do that. So uh, I just told them, I'm like, just, just call us. Don't even try to get into it with them. Just call us. And if it was her, I was, I was planning on probably just arresting her or seeing. That's why I went ahead and called the sergeant out to see, you know, whatever. But um, because, like I said, I dealt with her yesterday and she had no reason to be here. So. Um, well, well, let's go out here and see if they're there, and then let's, let's get, them, get away from here. Cause kind of, well, you know, is that cards for them? them? Yeah, yeah. If they, uh, well, this is mine for the manager. So, um, we'll see. Paul, can we see the time you? You know, this is actually, I don't, this, might, this is my first time being with something like this where, Well, yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't happen as often as you would think, but, I mean, I, I get filmed all the time, so it's not that so big of a deal. So, I would say that it happens every day, just not in our previous Right. But oh, yeah. No, like, is, I mean, this has become fun. Like you said, you see them on YouTube all the time. Yeah. And that's what this is. This is people filming their, their YouTube page. Right, yeah. And that's all it is. And they try to get a rise out of you. And when you when you realize that, you, it helps you keep calmer because they're trying to be confrontational. And, you know, if they want to crawl out of their mom's basement once every six months and do something like this, and, you know, that's their right. They can do you that. You saw that the first one that lost temper got you know, personal. Right, yeah. Who's the, the other male? So it's not, um, I guess they don't want to file the report, so, um, right. Anyway, so, uh, what'd they do personal? Why would they say personal? Oh, he just, uh, tell him, um, you're, you said you're a moron, and he, oh, looked, yeah. he says you're looking like a moron, you're looking like a moron. Tell him, oh, sergeant, yeah. you know, you need, you need to train your, your, your men better. And, and so it's, yeah, and once they go down that road, I don't even listen to them because it's, you know, it's like, it's, again, they're just trying to get a rise out of you. So it's just best, you know, uh, uh, what, what's, the, uh, don't fight fire. I don't know. One of the, one of the, one of the Bible verses about dumping coals on someone's head and not, you know, you know, people get madder if you just ignore them. So that's what it is. Turn the other cheek. Yeah. Yeah. That's one. That's one of them. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good day. Thanks, Terry.